Hello, Americans. Another friend subscribes around the world. Oh, yeah, man. Might be too windy on this video today, so I may end up bagging this one. I don't know how much wind the um, camera is catching, but we got a. Uh, well, look, I think it was 17 to 20 something miles an hour winds. It's like 42 degrees right now. The windy, so I don't know what the what the wind chill factor. It's pretty cold. My hands are pretty cold. <laughs> that is all about to change. We've got, I think the high today is 46 or something like that is the high for today. Tomorrow, 72. Then I can't remember what the day is after that, but then two days after that, 79. I guess we're skipping from the we're gonna, we got a little bit of them 50s, but we ain't getting no 60s. So let's just get on up into the high 70s and 80s. <laughs> Dude, I, man. Dude, my favorite, man. My favorite Tim's man, 68 to 72 all day long. So I guess we're skipping right over that this year. Today, like I was kind of putting, whoa, 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 whoa. Holy crap, man. I was kind of putting this together. I was going to do a more detailed video on it. But with the wind, I don't even know if this video is turning out, so we shall see. And then, just getting stuff, you know, pulled out, put together. Because I haven't really, I, can't, I don't even know if I've wet a lime this year, fished at all this year. But tomorrow... Now, here, here's the deal. Tomorrow, I've been debating, because tomorrow Miss Kitty and Katie Joe are going to be gone all day down the flatlands getting supplies. So, I could stay here and work. I could go mushroom morel hunting, or I could go fishing. Well, first, the work thing's out. <laughs> but, so morel, you know, mushroom hunting... Or fishing, you know, so either land fish, which is the morels, land fish, or wet fish. <laughs> so, thinking on this, thinking on this, uh, I have some up in one area that I was farming, you know, the last time we were out, we ended up farming a bunch of little ones. But we've had snow, and I guarantee there was snow up there yesterday. Kevin had just under an inch in McCall. So up where the mushrooms were, guaranteed there was snow. That ain't, that ain't going to help them morels. And the ones we were farming, they're probably toast. And then the temps have been so cold, you know, even today. The temps have been so cold and freezing overnight. I'm worried about my fruit trees. So I really don't think... I'm going to go up there farming. And then there's another mount. Well, actually, up where my fish fences are. You know, I haven't been on that mountain yet this year. You know, and you got that creek, man. You've seen me if you've been with me. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. But I've fished that creek there, you know, and I've caught quite a few. You know, I mean, I've caught hundreds and hundreds of fish out of that creek, but a few good ones. So I think tomorrow. Uh oh. Is that a scab or a tick? That's a. That's scam, Grizz. Ah, uh, been pulling ticks off like crazy. So, tomorrow, I think we're going to go fishing. Of course, battery issues. And that battery, I think, is going to go in the trash, man. I just pulled that off the charger. I think that's the one. I think it's done. Anyway, so where the heck was I? So, tomorrow, I said I think I'm going to go up fishing. I'm going to go up there by the... You know, on the mountain, man, by the fish fences and everything. You know, which I always look at my fish fences to see what's going on, make sure everybody dropped them, all that crap. But we'll go up there and see how far. I would guess. Might not make it to the highest fence, you know, I man. That's. What is that? Uh, 7,000 feet? I think you get. I think that there's probably still snow up there, but we'll find out tomorrow. So I'm going to take my fishing pole. That's what I was doing out here, and then was getting it organized, kind of do a little, you know, fishing 
little fishing series or getting ready fishing series. But instead, I'll just show. I just got this rod. This new little quantum quantum micro. I just picked this thing up. And check this out. It's pretty cool, man. Ultra light. A little quantum micro. So I picked this up, or actually I did a, it was in a trade, I'm always swapping, and there was a reel on it. So man, this morning, you know, I've had it for a while, but this morning I pulled it out, man, I'm on, said, oh, I'm going to put some, uh, put some line on that little, that little reel. Well, I guess I never uh, really checked that reel, because that reel was crap, man, and it was... Man, there was some screws that had been replaced and all that. So I went and pulled off a reel off of another ultralight, man. This one's here is a little, what is this, man? Yeah, so this is their little Shimano 4X ULS. And this is the same, same exact reel. This one here, this little ultralight here, you've seen a hundred times. This is this is my favorite favorite. This might be my new favorite. We'll find out. So both of these need. I'm gonna uh, strip the line off of them and put some more. Man, four pound tests. What I'll probably run on those. Uh, got my Potsky eggs pulled out. I'm gonna take this little. Remember that little fishing pole the car got me for. Can't remember if it was for my birthday or for Father's Day. I think it was for my birthday. So we're going to take that out because I really want to catch a fish on this. The one thing that I did discover is it does not reel fast enough for spinners. You know, which we'll definitely be running some spinners tomorrow. Um, a lot of it depends on the water, man. And a lot of it depends on the water and how muddy it is. You know, here... Man, this is what they did. It's supposed to turn, I mean, like I said, 79 degrees up to probably low 80s. So that's really going to start the run or the melt, you know, which is going to start the runoff. So then the creek and river fishing is going to be, you know, it'll go away for a bit because that's them will start running just muddy, 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 you know, way, way high, you know. Actually, my creek, man, it's, you know, it's about that time. It's all getting break loose here pretty quick. It's been hanging on, you know, a little bit of runoff, and then it's been getting cold again, and then snow and all that. Well, I'm telling you, man, next week all heck's going to break loose. So I'm going to take that little, you know, little ultra huggy, whatever you want to call that, little micro mini. I'm going to take that thing along with me, get some new line, get this reel. I guess I could put this on. Uh, I could put this on here now. It's kind of cool how this uh, slides in there like that. It's like old school, man. See how that fits on there? Yeah. Woo, dude, that gonna be fun, man. Them, uh, them uh, brookies will feel like steelhead. So, <coughs> you know, so I got my <coughs> pots gauge. Take that once I got three or four jars of pots gig, but I've seen that one in there, I thought I better take it. Yeah, I'm not gonna sit here and pull them all out, but man, the rooster tails and my Panther Martins that I always talk about. So I'll have Panther Martins and rooster tail spinners just in case. We'll take potski eggs and then you know what I'll really do up there is kind of look and see what what's falling in the creek or whatever natural and you know probably use some of that for bait maybe maybe dig some worms I don't probably won't take any worms with me but so we shall see what tomorrow brings man but we're going so we're going land fishing and fishing all in the same day good lord willing and them creeks don't rise we'll be back again tomorrow See ya.